Hey guys, so Alpha Crown that used to be part of Wolverine. In fact, it was the Wolverine boys who actually left. So Alpha Crown had the old Wolverine shop and they recently got robbed for $500,000 in a armed robbery. This is crazy news. And it really tells you that being in the Watts business is not a good business to be in right now. So Joshua Bell, the owner of Alpha Crown, my brother Michael Bell, Omar Deep, and myself had a violent armed robbery take place at me and my bro's place, Alpha Crown in Dallas. So they went to the actual store, Texas, yesterday. A lot of watches that were displayed out were robbed. Unfortunately, there were several pieces that came that morning that hadn't been processed and we had not yet recorded the serial numbers that were taken away. So again, um, will the insurance pay out for those watches that were not processed? Who knows? Luckily, they didn't completely clean house, but they definitely took a lot, roughly five hundred to $550,000 which is a lot for us right now. I'm going to list the watches and serial numbers here, praying we can recover at least one piece and hopefully have those low lives get what they deserved. If you are in Texas, keep an eye out, please. Thank you all for your the support. Here are the watches we have a record of, and then it goes on to list some really nice pieces and uh, Rolexes, uh, Vacherons, APs, right? more Rolexes, more Vacherons, Rolex. I mean, the majority of it seems like it, more than half of it is Rolexes. Wow, what a uh, interesting time to be a great market watch dealer. Now, we know if you watch Alpha Crown, I went back to watch some of their videos. It did seem like they had financial issues prior. Um, and maybe, so you have, you have to ask the basic questions and Again, they, they were just part of an armed robbery, just like Marco was part of our, Why do these YouTube watch dealers get robbed so much? Is there a reason or maybe they shouldn't be making YouTube videos? Like, I, unfortunately, here's what it is. Um, I don't know if these watch dealers should be making YouTube videos anymore showing the security, showing, you know, how they enter, showing the their watches they have, uh, showing, you know, the displays and so on. There might be a very good reason because these robberies seem to be happening a lot, right? Uh, with original TPG and Marco, with uh, Anthony, right? The Supposedly was robbed for $2 million. That was false, but he made the narrative. He was ro ro robbed at his apartment while he was sleeping uh, that was a armed robbery and now alpha crown has been robbed at with weapons right i mean i mean this is is there like a pattern that we can engage in you know i i think it's very obvious that if you watch their youtube videos um somebody may Somebody may look at that video and say, oh, look at all these watches. They have a half a million dollars, one million. It's just sitting there in display. If we go in like this and boom, boom. You don't really need to case out the place, right? Like in the Odin style, like you, they would spend a day or two casing out the place and seeing, you know, the eternal. But here, if you publish everything on YouTube, uh, and also you might ask, was it inside job? Who knows? There, there might be a really good reason to not publish YouTube videos anymore uh, because they're not getting that much customers. They're not getting that much audience. And honest to God, they might just be a liability. If I was an insurance company, I would actually view it as a liability and be really upset that you did make these YouTube videos and that did display how, how the watches are set out, what the inventory, they're not in like vaults, there's no security guards and so on. Where, if there is a security guard, where does the security guard sit? I'm sure their procedures will change in the future. But, yeah, I feel bad for them. Obviously, there's always going to be people who think uh, it might be something else. Um, insurance fraud is 
seemingly uh, rampant on, on this uh, scenario. Half a million dollars is a lot, especially if some of these are consignment watches, which then need to be paid out, in my opinion, immediately. And then you handled the insurance part, especially if there are watches that you don't actually know what their value because you didn't take in the watch. And I, I get that. Hey, the boxes came in. They stole the boxes because it makes sense. Yeah, half a million dollars, a million, a million fifty thousand is a massive amount of money to lose. And the experience of being robbed is not a fun experience, right? Uh, it's something that Marco, Anthony, and, and, you know, it is something that you would never wish upon your worst enemy, right? These are bad people. And to be quite frank, they know where you are. So they rob you once. Maybe they rob you again. Who knows, right? Anyway, uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think um, what actually happened. It, I will say they definitely needed a lot of cash. They absolutely needed the cash. They didn't want... So if they needed... They don't need inventory. They have lots of inventory. They needed cash. So I will, I'll just put it that way. Hi, guys.